we are on a seven part series of how to build your brand from scratch. We're on step five and we've already been through a massive amount of transformation already. If you've already watched the first four videos, pop it in the comments below. Give me a, give me a high five, give me a hashtag high five and I'll definitely be high fiving you for getting this far. If you're just joining us, welcome to this series and I look forward to catching you in the other four shows leading up to this one. So we're on step number five. Today is all about optimize and relaunch. So you've gone through a whole process of creating a product or service that's going to meet the demand, is going to directly respond to a problem, pain or challenge that somebody is having in their life or business or health or wealth or whatever it is that you do. You've gone through a process so far where we're now leading up to People have already tested it. They've given you that feedback. You've created swipe copy. You've looked at the different ways you're going to be able to launch that product or service. And now what we've got to do is take all of that feedback on board and optimize the product or service so that when you send it out and you do a proper hard launch, that's when you're going to really expand your business and expand your brand. So let's imagine that you've got all the feedback and you've been able to go through and you've tweaked the process. Here's what you need to do. You need to let people know that you've listened to them. There's no greater honor than to give some of your time to somebody for them to come back and say, thank you so much for all the feedback and advice you gave me on that. As a result, I've now created the program and I'd love for you to be one of the first to go through it and maybe give them a free link to it. Give them a link for them to go because they've given you their time. Maybe you give them, uh, you know, 30 days for free. If it's a program, give them 30 days of the program, uh, you know, so that they, they want to then come become part of the program longer term. You know, don't think about, oh my God, I'm giving all this away. Because actually what you're doing is you're really strengthening that relationship as an ambassador for your brand. So I tend to either give that first piece away or I'll reach out to them and I'll say thank you so much for the feedback and the support and advice you gave me. Uh, I'd love to offer you a, a free session with me to say thank you so much for going through that process. Um, and if you know other people who would be interested in going through this program, here's the link. Now that it's been created, I've taken your feedback on board, I've made the amends, here's the link. I'd be so grateful if you could share that out to your network for me. And do you have any interviews or anything coming up where I might be able to uh, appear on one of your shows or something to talk about this product and the, the transformation you got when you went through it and just start reaching out to people like that. It just means so much to somebody to know that what whatever time they've given you, that you've actually done something with it and not enough people do that. Not enough people say thank you for that particular piece and actually what you're doing is you're missing a massive opportunity um, to, to make a big deal of that. The other thing that you could do is maybe set up your own interviews and interview them. I mean, that'd be a brilliant way for you to do it. Ask them, would you be willing for me to interview you to, to get your feedback and your opinion uh, to be able to help me with the support of promotion for this product? Most of them are going to say yes. I don't think I've ever touched wood. I've never had anybody that has said no to that. You know, I'd love to to highlight your business and talk about your business. And as a result of talking about your business, if, if it is a business to business customer, of course, if it's a consumer, then obviously you'll talk about that product as well. In my instance, then it's business. So, you know, I'd love to highlight your business and share with everybody what it is you do. And in return for putting that spotlight on your business, maybe we could spend just, you know, a minute or two talking about what I've created and the product and the program and what you think of it and why you think people should buy that. And that way you're you're optimizing, you're letting them know that their feedback is so valuable to you that you've put it in place and you'd love to highlight them and spotlight them um, on your website or on your, your social media channels so that it's a win-win. So they get something from it as well. And that way you get to really optimize what you're doing. So, uh, so this was a nice short and sweet one. So all you've got to do now is reach back out to all those people that gave you the feedback and, um, and let them know what you've done as a result of their feedback and that, uh, you know, just go through the process I shared with you and ask them if they'd be willing for you to, or to be interviewed, for, for you to either do a, a call or do a Zoom call 
Um, I personally prefer StreamYard. StreamYard is a brilliant, brilliant um, online live streaming platform that you can use. I use it for pretty much everything now. Um, and it's so professional. It's really good. And you can get people uh, on the screen with you. You can have multiple people. You might actually get the six people that you had go through the testing process that gave you feedback. You might get them all on screen and get them to talk about why it's so important. Do it as a collective as well as one-to-one. -one. The more promotion you can get from as many people as possible, the more you're going to seep into all of their networks and not just your own. But it's also really great material for your website and your landing pages, your squeeze pages, sales pages, all of those places you're going to send people to so that they can spend money with you. Because <laughs> that's the ultimate goal, right? Give me a hashtag yes to money. <laughs> yeah, we want to call that money in right now. Let the universe know that that's why you're doing this. So uh, here, there we are. That was step number five. We're going to move on to step number six. And that is where we're going to focus on how you illuminate the offer, how you get as many people to it as possible. We've been building up and building up. I've obviously given you some ideas how you could do that. But in step six, we're really going to focus on illumination, followed by step number seven, where we're going to talk about how you systemize your products and services, how you at least systemize the marketing of them so that you're not having to do a load of this yourself. Like by all means, you're going to have to go through the, the first part of this process. You're going to have to do it yourself to learn. When I launched Brand Builders TV, the first six weeks, I did everything myself because I needed to learn where were the gaps, where were the the places that we could optimize, where, where are the places that we could speed things up or technology we could use that would enhance the way that we were delivering it and systems and processes. And we've changed and adapted as we've gone through. And then two days ago, I handed the whole lot over to my team and said, right, I've made all the mistakes. I've learned the hard way. I know exactly what we need to do. This is how we're going to run it. Go. And I got four people uh, within my bigger team to focus on each of them having a role where one does this and then they hand it to that person and then they do that and they hand it to that person. And you'll get into a system and a flow where you have a really good pace with all the products and services that you launch. And whilst you might not have team yet, I don't have any team that work in my business. I am the only person in my business that's employed by my business. But I bring people in as and when I need them. So we're going to talk about that in step number seven so that you don't have to go through this process on your own. All right, if you've enjoyed this show, if you've enjoyed the series, please do subscribe. Let other people know how they can too. Please share this content. Let other people know there is support available to them. They don't have to do it on their own. You don't have to do it on your own. So let's go further together. So if you need any more help and support, go across to sammyblindell.com. And you'll find loads of different things on the website that can also support you. Loads of free resources, hundreds, probably over two or three thousand different articles that we've got that we've written over the years that will really help you to to master this brand building process. So take care, have fun, be the drop you want to see in the world. And I look forward to seeing you in step number six. Before we go, I'm just going to ask you your question for the day. Here is your question. What is your biggest frustration in business? What is your biggest frustration in business? Pop it in the comments below and I'll see you on the next show.